Those are the child trips, child tips that you really need. Folks, it's Saturday night. <laughs> Welcome aboard. It's the Calamity Campaign. Uh, thanks for joining us. I think you're in for a real hoot. Much better than these four guys who are not going to like it at all. <laughs> okay, we'll get into that in nice. just a minute. First, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy some cool stuff like this or this shirt, uh, hit our shop. If you want one of their shirts, hey, you got to be a cast Have member, baby. <laughs> yeah, you got to be one of us. And you can do that by hitting us up at mhoboinc at Twitter or Gmail and saying, hey, I want to play uh, this coming Saturday, a week from tonight, uh, one shot. So, you know, if you're interested in that, go ahead and join us. Tuesday is uh, also open. It's the uh, talk show. Uh, and it's kind of fun. Um, um, yes, Kyle, we were talking about you earlier. Uh, <laughs> boy, do we have something special for you. Uh, we'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice uh, for custom dice that do a nice job, especially if I really need to punish them. Uh, also, if your game stinks, try some Adventure Sense, or if you want to see Kyle choke again, try some Adventure Sense. Uh, it's made or uh, marketed by oddfishgames.com, also at Oddfish Games. So take a look at that. They also do a shine system, so if you want to write, uh, check that out. Uh, also coming soon, how to RPG with your cat Kickstarter. I played it. It was fun, uh, and I think you'll like it too. Now let's move on. Talk to the cast, and then we'll go ahead and give you a recap, and then we'll actually play the goddamn game. Don't forget, yeah. we are for mature audiences only. First one up is Rob. Rob, who are you, and who are you playing? Hey, motherfuckers, I'm Rob. Oh, I'm Rob. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Dave. Oh, wow. Right <laughs> out the shoot. Right okay. out. Might as well right get it over with. <laughs> Pop everybody's cherry simultaneously. Uh, I'm Rob. You can find me at Cthulhu Rob on Twitter. And uh, I played Dave, the um, frustrated barbarian. Wow. What a frustrated barbarian. <laughs> Don't worry, Rob. I think you'll get Laid today. <laughs> uh, next up, this is what Dave's scared of all night. Is Scott? <laughs> Scott, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm Scott. Um, I'm a uh, a, D a DM most of the time, but uh, with these guys, I I end up doing a lot more playing than I end up uh, than I end up DMing, um, and that's nice. I'm playing Rakir, who is a human monk. Um, he he is a bit of um, well, he's just a suck up. Is that that that's just what he is? He, he's just a hanger on suck up with delusions of grandeur. One day, that's <laughs> that's what he is. Um, that yeah, that that's that that's him in a nutshell. We hope he won't be disappointed by 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 everything that's going on. I am never disappointed by Rock here. Uh, <laughs> next up is Jesse because he's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for letting me uh, quench my thirst before I said anything. Uh, hello, I am Jesse. Uh, you can find me on the Twitterscapes at uh, J.R. Wooey. That's W-O-O-W-I-E. Uh, I am playing Azari, the uh, Leonin Ranger, who is uh, a stoic, honor-bound, not that fun some bitch so far, but <laughs> it's still early. He's growing. He's growing. You have family? Fuck you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> He's got family right now, but we have. I do have family, <laughs> and I hope to relish their uh, their growth and opportunities Emory, in the future. Yes. No, <laughs> sure, because that's what happens in Philbar. Yes. Uh, last but certainly not least, David. Hi, I'm Dave, <laughs> but not that Dave. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, tonight I will be playing Ingve, the Ravenskin, uh, the Circle of the Shepherd Druid. Uh, I am usually on uh, BTR on Tuesdays and on the opposite Thursday night uh, show, Cacophony. And sometimes you can catch me on one shots every once in a while. I'll, I'll get one of those. So. <laughs> That's there, it. there you go, folks. That is the cast for Calamity. Uh, we start. This is episode three. Uh, two weeks ago, these guys went out in search of Akra feathers, a token of heroic deeds and sign of warrior virility. They needed to get it because uh, in their first episode, Rite of Passion, they dealt with one of their cohorts from the community of Ba, known as 
Dolph, uh, a half orc part of twins, uh, and he's a bit of an asshole. Uh, in the last episode, they discovered that uh, whoever performed the best in the rite of passage would be deemed the leader of that class. Uh, these guys, for some reason, didn't want to have an asshole leading them. Not sure which one of them they would have chosen otherwise, but, you know, whatever. They didn't want Doff, so they found out Doff was going to go get an Acre Feather because he and the top warrior S, uh, Lokai, eh, kind of have a thing going. Uh, so these I'm guys w- went out and they faced off with the extremely dangerous Akras and uh, discovered they weren't that tough for some reason. Uh, They're a little bit puzzled. They are out in the Grunda Hills right now. And as we left them two weeks ago, they heard sounds of battle behind them from whence they came. Uh, We rejoin them now, uh, pondering what the hell's going on. But first, Dave, roll me a D20. Hell yeah. Um, That's a 19. That's pretty good. Uh, you only vomit one time. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Get some raw buffalo meat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Short guess. rest. So, 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 <laughs> 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 you got sounds of battle behind it. You can take a short rest because Dave did get uh, his I need to ass. pull a few arrows out. Yeah, uh, and the uh, desert valley of Sion is ahead of you, but whatever way you guys want to go, I'm fine with. I, I, I think I'd like to at least start moving back a little bit towards the sound of, of battle, the, the, the sound of this noise. I don't want to <coughs> go quickly. I want to go as quietly or as stealthily as I can. That, that would be what I would want to do. Um, because I don't want to get surprised or something run, you know, something you know running up on us. That's that's what I think I would like to do. But I'll I'll ask the rest. You know, Zeri, Ingve, you got a band aid? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah. What I do y'all can, think? Think we I need to check give it a out little or? healing. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, an additional couple of hit points. I think that'll that'll cure you, Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What we got here? Okay, uh, ten hit points. Oh, that is so perfect and takes me right back to full. Thank you so much. And You're then welcome. he vomits. That's okay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Still tastes uh, like beer. Rakir says uh, he wants to quietly and stealthily head back to figure out what the sounds of battle are. Uh, Azari, let's see you. It would be smart, Rick, here if we checked it. Let's go I quietly. Agree. Dave and Ingve. Dave I, down. Yeah, Ingve. Yes. Uh, the sounds of battle seem fierce and ferocious. This area, of course, is a lot of hills and valleys. Uh, as you go up, everybody, go ahead and give me a perception check, please. Come here, big guy. Uh, okay. That's a 17 for me. 13. 15. Uh, 13. 17, Rakir, uh, as you reach the top of the hill, you notice in the afternoon sunlight, uh, a few hills over, there seems to be a battle involving something large, but you can't really tell what it is, and several smaller figures. Can uh, I you see also... how many smaller figures? Two, three, four? I'll take an investigation check. Uh, You guys will also notice that this is the area where you obtain those berries. Four? Yeah. No, you have no idea. Uh, Everybody's moving around. 19. Uh, Two? Maybe three? Hard to tell. It looks like two taller ones and one short one. Okay. Humanoid? (laughs) Or... You will not be able to tell from this distance. Let's get a closer look, continuing our stealthy progression. Okay. Dun. 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 A hearty scream is heard, almost as if somebody has been severely wounded. 
Uh, you go into the valley, you start to climb up the hill. Everybody give me an arcana check to see if you know what this thing is. Arcana. Uh, a, 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 that's a dirty one. Dirty one? <laughs> I also have dirty one. Something scream! <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Twelve. Not good enough. It's big. <laughs> there are two humanoids. Everybody give me an investigation check to see if you recognize these humanoids. <clears throat> Nine for me. Investigation. I'm just that is not my skill. Oh, Thirty twenty. Are not my skills. Uh, Thirteen. Natural four. Nice. Uh, Azari, you definitely see that one of them is Grek. Uh, folks at home, if this is the first time you've been watching, okay. Grek uh, was introduced in episode one uh, as uh, a uh, experienced fighter. In episode two, he, he was used as a decoy instead of a guide. <laughs> uh, so it appears as though Grek and another individual are facing something about eight feet tall, covered in possibly feathers and giving off ah, 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 noises. <laughs> For those of you who play D&D, it's an owlbear. Oh, okay. how far away? Uh, you guys are about 60 feet away, but you're at the bottom of the hill. So uh, um, that's why Azari can only see one of them. Uh, there's at least two humanoids <clears> up there, uh, and maybe a shorter one. You guys aren't sure. I let them know it's Greg. We should do something. We should do something. Okay. Maybe he Call was. Clap. Maybe he was coming after us. I don't know. Those aren't acro feathers. I will. Uh, I will uh, pull my bow and <laughs> shoot Dave <laughs> again. That trick never I worked. Bow, turn to Dave. It's time for you to rage, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll fire, fire off both <laughs> things, then rage. Oh. I'll fire off a. Uh, I'll shoot. Pull my bow and fire off an arrow at the owlbear. Okay, now you guys are at the at the bottom of the hill, looking up with the sun beating down behind them. They are silhouetted, but as they move, the beams of light come in and give you the sparkle effect. But go ahead and fire away. Okay. I.e., there's going to be an adjustment on my end. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, 16. 16 barely hits him. Uh, how much damage? Nice. 11 points of damage. Nice. Uh, Dave, Rakir, and Ingve. Who's got missile weapons that want to give it a shot, or do you just want to charge? Oh, um, Dave's got missile weapons. Go ahead. What you got, Dave? Uh, 60 feet. Let's see. Um, Dirty yeah. One. Sure. Dirty one. Dirty one. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Javelin. <laughs> um, Dirty Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez. I'm not going to play Sanchez. with the expert. <laughs> it's, it's close range, so I'll just go for it. Nah. Uh, oh, uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. One first one of the night. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> never read never roll the red dice early. Damn. You, you throw it. Uh good news. Uh you do not see you do not hit the humanoid uh that Azari has identified as Grek, nor do you hit the giant creature, aka Albear. So your javelin probably landed somewhere in a grass line somewhere. You know, so probably fine. Rakir and Ingve, what do you Damn. guys want to do? Uh, Ing speed off. Off. The best <laughs> thing oh. for you, sir. <laughs> After I throw, I start running up the hill. Okay. <laughs> He's out of range as far as like uh, like any kind of missile thing to do, but Ingve takes his uh, quarterstaff, stamps it into the ground, and casts Entangle on the owlbear. Okay. It's a 90 foot, foot uh, reach. Boom! First nat 20 of the night. God damn <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. but, but it's difficult terrain for it. So yeah, it, it doesn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> so Rakir, you're up. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to um, um, charge. Uh, my, my natural movement is 40 feet. And so right. I'm going to 
um, I guess, close as much distance as I can and see whatever I can. I, I'm not going to attack right now. <laughs> I mean, obviously I can't, but, you know, um, I'll, uh, I'll, I know it's moving uphill. So if I can close, you know, 40 feet of the distance using um, my bonus action to dash. Ooh, that will work. Movement. Uh oh. <laughs> that should put you up there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look here, save some for Dave. Uh, <laughs> see. I will. I might run right back down the hill. <laughs> Sorry, you notice. Nope. Uh, well, everybody roll perception, I should say. Everybody roll perception. Yep. 17. Uh, 17. 22. 7. Uh, Rakir, the, the blood is just pounding in your ears from the sprinting up the hill, uh, trying to do the Batman, original Batman run up the hill. Everybody else <laughs> sees the owlbear swipe and you hear a god awful scream. Again, not Grek, who rifles off a sword blow. And seems to connect with the creature. Uh, new round, everybody roll initiative. Hell yeah. Yes. Rolling initiative. That's 20. Dirty four. Uh, 22. <laughs> Six. Uh, we will start with this 22. Uh, Ingve, you notice that uh, the creeping. Now, does the entangle start from you and go up? No, it starts from the the. The creature that I cast it on and spreads Damn out man. twenty and sp spreads out twenty feet. So uh, Rock here will notice something that's amiss, <laughs> but you notice that the entanglement seems to be climbing up this creature. What would you like to do first? I uh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna <coughs> kind of close the space a little bit. Uh, move up. Uh, how far were we last time away 60. from sixty? Uh, I will try to close in. Uh, 30 feet, okay. use my movement and produce flame <coughs> and uh, launch uh, a tongue of flame towards the, the creature. Now, keep in mind, Dave and Rakir are charging up the hill. I know. Hopefully, I don't hit them. <laughs> okay. So go ahead. Oh, roll one. Nope. Uh, it's not a one, but does a 14 hit the owlbear? Uh, it does not, not okay. from this angle. Okay. And it goes shooting over the head. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Fireworks. Dirty 20. Dave. Ugh, ugh. Give me a perception check, Dave. Uh, that's uh, 19 when adjusted. There are vines and leaves and shit emanating from this creature. And they appear to be coming slightly down the hill towards you. Damn, mm. Yngwie. <laughs> Hey. Oh. Go jackass! <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> Can I? How far am I from the? If I stop short of the vines, how far am I from the creature? Uh, twenty feet. Okay, well, I'll stop there and huck another javelin. Sure. Uh, Dave, you see two individuals. You see a third individual on her knees, <laughs> and you see your javelin embedded in somebody's chest in the high weeds. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Not Dave's problem. Not Dave's <laughs> problem. <laughs> uh, that'll be uh, with dexterity. So that'll be a 19 to hit. I could not have written that one any better. <laughs> oh yeah, you hit it. <laughs> Using murder hobo dice for damage. Uh, that's going to be five plus four is nine points of damage. Up to 20. Rock here. Uh, you give me a perception check as well, please. Good. I know where my job went. that time. A little bit better. Uh, you also notice that Dave has stopped short, and you notice the reason Stop short why. and grab. Yep. Yeah. Growing up in the 70s. Yep. <laughs> ah, yes, the mom belt. <laughs> Soccer mom <Okay>. block. <laughs> Cigarette and yeah. seat belt. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tab soda in the cup holder. That's right. That's it. <laughs> you kids are driving me nuts. Rest in peace, Mom. I still love you. Don't roll down the window. You're going to blow my hair. 
So, um, so, so what do I see with that? Uh, you see creeping vines coming up and over. You see uh, Dave strike the creature, the owlbear. Uh, it is mostly entangled at this point. Uh, you see Grek. You see Doff, also equally entangled. You see Lokai on one knee uh, appears to have a substantial wound. And you see a javelin upright in a body. I guess so. We know what happened to Duff's brother. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, oh good! Crisis oh, point coming. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Oh, Raccoon? what to do? Or what Raccoon. to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss. <laughs> Let me roll. I miss. I say, I, I think I want to run over to Greg and tell Greg, Greg. Let's get the fuck out of here. Now, you've noticed the creeping vines. Oh, sorry, sorry. There's creeping vines in the way. Okay. Right. It, it's forming a circle out from the owlbear. It's a radius. It's, yeah. it's in Does it have Grek right now? It has Grek and Doth. It has Grek and Doth. Mm. Mm, okay. It's not entangling them. It's just difficult to ring for them. It's like trying to walk uh, through brambles, I guess. Right. Yeah. Uh, now, the owlbear does not look good. Because mm. it's pretty clear good that you guys did not give the first damage to it. Throw a dart. Yeah. Throw a dart. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a dart. I'm gonna throw a dart <laughs> uh, at the target of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw my first dart <laughs> <laughs> at the owl bear. God, nobody likes my NPCs. Uh, that's going to be, that's going to be a 22, actually. Easily. Doesn't do much damage is the problem. The darts, they're not really heavy, heavy damage things. So that's uh, one, two, four, three. So that's your one. <laughs> four hit points damage. Uh, nice, but not enough to bring it down. Uh, I'll start moving around the periphery over towards Grek, okay. if I can. But I'll do that with my movement, trying to move. Seeing, I don't want to get caught up in these brambles coming up. I'm going to try to move, skirt the area, but try to get around correct. Sure. That's my and, and I screwed up the order already. Uh, Azari, you are up. Oh, okay. Uh, I will fire again on the large creature. Azari strolling slowly up the hill. Do, do, yeah, do, do, do. pretty much. <laughs> oh, guys, how you doing? <laughs> I, heard, I, heard, I heard Dolph was here. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's a 17 to hit. That hits. Okay. Nice. Max damage again. 11 points of damage. That is more than enough to bring it to its knees and fall. Uh, let's see which way it fell. Uh, one, it's going to fall on Doff. Two, it's going to fall on Grek. Uh, three, four, elsewhere. One, 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 one. Damn. Four falls backwards uh, and lands. Uh, Looking up at the sky. Uh, Ingve, your spell is still active. Uh, it, it only lasts for a minute. So. It's only been two rounds. <laughs> Tra- I, drop seconds. It. I, yeah. I drop it and start running towards the, the body uh, with the javelin sticking out of it. Sure. Um, uh, everybody gets to the top of the hill. Uh, Doff is banged up. Grek is pretty banged up. Lokai is missing an arm. Holy shit. The body of the high grass has a javelin through its eyeball. Oh, (laughs) Oh, shit. But but its entire chest is missing from raped claws. So there is no blood leaking out of the eye socket. Ergo, you may surmise that Dave did not kill Dolph's brother. (laughs) (laughs) Get javelin. (laughs) <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> uh, I, I immediately start uh, casting healing word. So those, those who who need it, well, it's an area of effect. So I uh, before he casts healing word, I'm gonna put my hands up to Ingve. Stop. Oh. And I'll look over at uh, look over at them. 
<laughs> at the group that came with us. When were you going to speak of this deception? Me? No, the... Uh, oh, <laughs> I was like... You want to ask Doff or Lo Rek? Uh, Lokai and oh. uh, Lokai and Doff. Uh, Lokai is bleeding profusely, although she has applied a tourniquet to her arm. Uh, her arm is barely attached um, by just strands of sinew. Uh, why don't you go to hell and fix me first? <laughs> well, you can you can tell that the injury is pretty significant. Mm. People die in simpler terms. People die in much more intriguing straits. Why have you lied to us our entire lives? Why are you lying to this city, this collective? I don't know what you're talking about. Dave Skinner and a motherfucking owl bear. This creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, now I'm like, now I'm looking, I'm like Yingve, you may heal her just enough to keep her from bleeding out. Okay. But no more. Ah, making friends. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Azari's how to influence people and make friends class is available online. <laughs> she comes out here with her group to seal away these Akai Akari creatures that are no more dangerous than rabbit chickens. This owlbear poses 10 times the danger those Akari do in a group. This is a more dangerous creature that our friend Dave is skinning at this moment. We'll see how, how Dave's how he dies. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That Dave is butchering at this moment. <laughs> okay. Why not this? Why not this as a true warrior's hunt? Uh, Ingve, have you applied healing to everybody? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, let's see. Uh, three, four, uh, seven points uh, as I cast healing word. Okay. Uh, I can amplify it, but I'm liking to uh, everyone. To everyone, and I could amplify it more, but I'm looking to Azari. It's just like I can do more. Uh, seven's enough to uh, help them out. Eck, Eck's dead. Baby. He's gone. He's yeah. gone. Uh, even without the javelin to the eyeball, Dave. Uh, <laughs> Dave, let's go ahead and roll me uh, animal handling. Let's see how you skin this out there. Animal handling. Ooh. Ooh, Dave, uh, good at... Oh, wait. Rakir, <laughs> uh, Dolph, and Greg have each taken a knee. Animal <laughs> handling, yeah. Dave, not good at it. Oh, hey, 17, straight up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Dave's, Dave's not, not bad. bad at it. Yeah. yeah. Dave has turned himself Skinner. into a daisy. Hangover Skinner. Putting feathers in a circle around his head. <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, I'm um, speaking of which, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, very good. Uh, Rock here, you managed to move in behind Doff. Okay. <clears throat> and Can like I, I said, Doff and Grecker. <laughs> are... Can I see if they're wounded or are they winded? Wounded and winded. Uh, apparently, since you guys were strolling over the sounds of battle, they had, they had to fight that thing uh, quite well. You didn't know who was fighting. Our whole entire life has been a lie so far. So, <laughs> how do I know it wasn't some random they party? They say, wait, they say caution. Dave say, okay. Uh, Ingve, uh, Lokai will thank you for the healing. However, it is not going to be enough to save her arm. That is going to be permanent damage to her. Uh, so she will be bandaged, kind of lynched up, and that thing's going to have to come off. I'm using a healing kit and try to <clears throat> bandage her up as best as I can just to keep it in place so she can get help. So uh, the, she arms, the arms set there like it's... It's like just dangling by a sinew. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I start rolling it across her chest and her arm. I will. Just uh, hold it. <laughs> I will. I will push the arm as close to the body as I can, like try and keep it so it's connected. And I will cast cure wounds on her and look at her and say, "You will tell us the truth." 
Uh, as you push on her arm, she screams in pain. It starts okay. to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, a- after everything gets settled, Rocky, are you going to do anything yet? Um, I'm... Is this player, you know, you know, I want to make sure I'm doing player knowledge versus character knowledge. Right? Sure. Uh, folks at home, uh, Scott has told me that Rakir is wants to move around behind Doff. Right. So, 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 so the point there is, is that I want to make sure that, uh, for two things, I'll make it really quick. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to hit okay. Doff on the back of the head as hard as I can with my, uh, with my quarter staff. Absolutely. But I, I want okay. I, I to say something too. <laughs> I also want to say something too. Okay. And I, but I, I don't know if this makes sense if I want to say this is why I'm going to ask this question. Are we all aware that, that Doff and, and Loki have something going on? Or was that something that was observed and kept quiet? Or is that something that was observed and shared to all of us? I believe Ingve said it, correct? Ingve uh, squealed. Mm. I. I wasn't the one that who was, saw it. That, that was, was sorry, sorry sauce. That's right. Sorry, sorry. I, I pointed it out to like everybody's shot. Oh. Like, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Really? Okay. Well, yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'll take a really good hard crack at Doff's head with my quarter staff and say, "Don't worry, your bitch has still got one arm to, hop to hold you with." Uh, first off, he's, hit him. <laughs> now, yeah, okay. well, since he's, he's on a knee, yeah. he, he's mostly prone. So it should be easy. I just want to make sure you don't whiff. Because <laughs> this game takes a 18. weird turn. Eight? That's going to be an 18. Yeah. Oh, 18. Oh, yeah. 18. You, you, yeah, 18. You, I'll, I'll do a con <coughs> check. Uh, and that's two. So, yeah, he's unconscious. Face down with wildflowers. It is yeah, it, I, I, I wasn't trying to make it lethal. I was trying to make it. I was trying to make it. You know, non-lethal. I don't know if I made that. I, this was like you know trying to come up to the back of the head to uh, try to knock him out because I don't necessarily want him to hear everything else that's going to happen. No, that's fair. I want fair. him knocked out. And uh, with Ingve's seven hit points, he should be fine. Uh, right. Did Grek see it? Uh, Grek did not notice. Uh, Lokai. She uh, also did not notice. A little focused okay. on her arm being reattached. Uh, I gave her. And you've pushed it on it. <laughs> I, well, I put it, I pretty much put it so it connects, and then I'm going to cast heal it, or cure wounds, focusing the, the channeling on that section of her arm that's like falling apart. And she got 11 hit points back. Okay. So hopefully it'll like re, or at least like get the party started on getting her arm. I mean, I'm, to, I'm not trying to, to connect me. back and get normal. I'm not trying to intentionally be so much of an asshole. I just want Dolph to know that I know that him and Lokai have hooked up and then I wanted to knock him out. So hopefully Lokai can speak a little bit more freely. And it's you just, don't have to compete you know, no more. I- exactly. So sure. you know, um, maybe maybe we can have a more open conversation. At the same time, I just wanted to drizzle that little motherfucker. Sir, no, that that's fine. Uh, had you not mentioned that, he would not have known it was you that just uncorked on him. But okay, so we have loci feeling much better. The arm is going to be a permanent injury. Uh, yeah. that's but she'll have her. two arms though instead of just one. Kind of, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, it's better than just one. Greg, uh, is. <sighs> Thanks, thanks. Oh, holy shit. Thanks for coming, man. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad you got here when you did. We were in deep shit trouble. Poor Eck. What happened to Doff? <laughs> <laughs> As Rock here stands there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gotta go, sand person. Huskin warrior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Lokai is starting to get her vision back. Uh, I mean, she's gotten 18 hit points, uh, and she was she was down pretty far. Uh, now she is in the she has the frame of mind that she can answer your questions. What? She'll, she'll start with what? <laughs> it is stated that these Akari are. A cry or whatever they were, the Akras. Blue Akras, the blue feathered turkeys are dangerous and frightening beasts for us to test our strength upon. 
Yet this owl bear seems to be ten times what those creatures were. Why is this not more feared than? Why is this not a true test? I've never seen this thing before in my life. And we are and the mere miles. Is. We're mere miles from my homeland. Have you ever seen it? Not since I was a child. I've never seen one of these before. I mean, it. look at us. It killed one of us, nearly killed me, and injured our two comrades. Well, hey, why is Dolph down? <laughs> <laughs> exhaustion. It's just exhaustion. Birds floating around his head. <laughs> uh, yeah, her, and uh, you can roll a deception check, but she seems to be quite adamant she'd never seen anything like this before. This is the most dangerous creature you've seen out here in your time. Yes? I've, I've never encountered one of these, and it caught us by surprise and took poor Eck down almost immediately. In the years you've been doing this, you've never fallen upon a creature of this magnitude. Never seen it before in my life. I swear, Your Honor. Oh, I swear, you're right. <laughs> yeah, use the arm that works. Bitch. Um, <laughs> uh, fuck me, this is ridiculous. Okay, I will. Uh, I will step back over. Um, to uh, Ingve and just let him know. She doesn't know about this. Uh, Some, something's Dave, wrong. Dave, you look up, you're covered in Albert guts. Uh, Rakir, you've knocked out Dolph. What do you want to do? I ask, I, I want to ask Lokai, who I, who I, and secretly, this is who I assumed this was going to be my wife one day after becoming the chief. Of the <laughs> uh, like that, right? After worming my uh. way, you know, into, into everything, I say, what are you doing here with Dolph? What are you doing here at all? Why are you here? Sorry, we can't. But Dolph and his brother wanted the opportunity to hunt the Akra. I and Greg volunteered to show him where they were when we encountered this thing. Also, uh, three for persuasion for you. She was never going to be your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I'm just, I'm, this was just, you know, my thing. I said, why didn't you offer everyone the same chance? Why are you favoring someone? Why, why is Dolph your favorite? He has a tiny little dick. <laughs> 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 That's from episode two, folks. Uh, confirmed by a barmaid. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, are we camping? She will. Uh, uh, she does not like your tone at all, and she points out, uh, Dolph and his, Dolph and his brother Eck approached me. Had you approached me, I would have given you the similar opportunity, even though I don't much care for you. And she'll be very brutally blunt about it, because that was a four. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, and. You guys did not ask her, so <laughs> that does make sense. We also weren't really aware it was an option as well. But uh, also, I don't know if this thing travels alone or in packs. So maybe we should get our butts out of here in case more come. Why? Uh, you weren't here when it started. And while you were shooting at it, we're getting our ass kicked, so and I won't be much help for a while. I, 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 as leader of the hunter group, suggest we get the hell out of here. So take your feathers. Let's grab back and let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> because it's going to get dark real soon, and if we're stuck out here, this thing travels in packs. <clears throat> We're dead. Not to travel. I um, and she'll look at Azari and go, "Does this thing travel in packs?" 
Uh, that's a good question. Um, do I need like a <laughs> history or something if I would know that? Arcana. Arcana. No, I don't have a fucking clue. That was in that one. <laughs> Dude. Back- well, I mean, this is, uh, yeah, I mean, Ingbe knows nothing about this. I mean, I wouldn't think. No. I've never seen an owlbear. It's just well, like yeah. anything else. Yeah. yeah. Let's we'll take our things and leave then. Okay. Um, I say I can help with the body to get us where we're going. I can uh, shift, into, won't know what it shift is. into a pack horse and we can put. Gre- you know. Grek, will, Grek will volunteer to carry the fallen egg as well. Yeah. Grek also grabs a handful of feathers from the owlbear. We need to get. I'm going to take the whole skin back. Well. So. Yeah. No, yeah. no. W- w- why do we have to get Dolph out of here? He's Even uh, though he may be. Un- we can't leave un- him behind. <laughs> well, he I may not that, be. The- I think that I think that Lo- I think that Lokai could, should should probably bring him. Oh, that's no. right. You can't. Can you give her a I'll hand? Carry Dolph. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll carry, carry Dolph. Dolph. Uh, okay. every, yeah, but we gotta tie grab... his hands and ankles so I have something to hold on to. Uh, I'll I'll go ahead and shift into a pack horse, and we'll put. I'll, I'll take on the. We'll the take Eck. Of that, and Ingray. you can drape the bodies over or whatever. Well, let's say at worst Eck and uh, we can tie and Loki and ankles underneath your belly. It'll just hang there. Loki will walk. I do not need to be so be it. I just kind of nod. You guys That's head back. Owlbear skin for turkey uh, carcasses. Let's see how long. Woo. Uh, Dolph's going to be out for eight minutes. So he is going to be out like a light. Uh, Dave's got Dolph. Ingve has Ek. Uh, Grek after... Uh, Lokai says she'll walk. Greg's like, I, I'm not hurt anymore. I, I will help wherever I can. Uh, offers Dave his assistance. Uh, Dave, so if you guys want to carry him like a log, that's fine. Or if you want somebody to carry any part of the owlbear you. meat. What is he, dead leaves? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I wanted to build a Travoy. Yeah. I mean, I could probably carry at least two humanoids if i tie a travel to your ass you can carry a lot more than that or that <laughs> he has to use staples though oh no <laughs> uh so you guys are gonna head back i assume uh, everybody want to grab a handful of owlbear feathers look really hot shit yes sure. I, yeah. I do the trigger you, you know later, i'm bringing on. the whole skin along okay Yes, yeah, I'll just take. I'll take. Awesome robe. I'll take two Albert feathers pre, pre messy, Dave yeah. skinning option. Cl- clean feathers. Fair yeah, right. and it's fine. It's Dave that's messy. Uh, <laughs> anybody want to try and take talons or beak? The beak's going to be heavy. Uh, so, you know, you can do that. Yeah, sure. Let's. I'll try it. I'll take rolls from everybody, please. Uh, what's this? Animal handling? Uh, animal handling for the skinning, rock here for something else. Okay. Just okay. Um, you, you want to you want to D20? Yeah, for stealth. Actually, forget about it because I got a 19 nap. Yeah, I have an 18 on that, so uh Grek and Lokai are flanking the body. Okay. Uh, so which did you want, the Zari? I'll take the beak. Okay. Uh, give me an animal handling. I, uh, I rolled that already. Um, so 21. Yeah, you can get the beak out. It's a little bloody, a little messy, uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to take some talons, so... Um... I rolled a 17 again. Yeah, you can take uh, three. Okay. Very sharp. 
be careful. Don't fall. <laughs> uh, the pack animal, Ingve is taking the dead and the wounded. Rakir, uh, I assume you're right on top of Ingve. Yes. Mokai and Grek flanking it. Uh, the long, slow road back, uh, it's going to take you about an hour, <laughs> hour and a half. Uh, they're going to be quiet unless they are spoken to. So if you have any questions, you may certainly ask, but they are going to be pensive and reflective during the journey home. <clears throat> Dave's going to play his jaw harp. <laughs> Uh, as you get closer to Ba, everybody give me a perception check. Dirty 20 this time. Oh, okay. I roll a 19, but I'm a horse. So there's nothing I can do. 15. <laughs> Dirty 20 as well. Azari, uh, Rakir, Dave, uh, Ingve with your peanut butter on your gums. The. Uh, Fields are empty, and it's not quite dinner time, and that is unusual. Um, the Grek and the hogtied Doff, uh, as well as <laughs> Low Kai, do not notice it. Uh, they're just trudging along after their unsuccessful foray, but you guys all notice... Something is amiss here. Something's wrong. Can we okay. smell anything? Anything burning? Anything smelling like fire? Can, is there anything else in that, that, that we can perceive? Where are the farmers? Are there senses? <laughs> no. Uh, as you look up along the uh, terraces of Ba, which is carved into a mountain, uh, sporadic movement uh but you know city holds three four hundred people and uh there's just not a lot going on what time of day is this because we started at daybreak mm -hmm. it's just okay. before dinner time oh, okay. so uh the fields would be vacant at dinner time but it's just it's a little bit early for dinner time as you guys proceed through uh through the uh, leafed archway that just uh, the day before, you went out as neophytes on your hunt, uh, and you left early this morning. Uh, you noticed that the grand courtyard, the plaza, if you will, is covered in bodies. Uh, all are uh, injured. Some are deceased with blankets over them. Everybody roll d20. Sixteen. So, straight eleven. Nat twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen. I don't know if this is when I want a nat twenty. You're still on. We have now moved to Cthulhu, to where you want to roll. <laughs> uh, Dave, you spot Gizba leaning up against the religious statue at the back of the plaza. He has a bandage on his head. He's missing a piccolo. Uh, and he looks pretty vacant and dazed. Azari, uh, you see your father, your mother, and your older sister who spot you at the same time and come running over. Rakir, uh, you're just puzzled as to why everybody is hurt. And Ingve, <laughs> uh, Lokai and Grek uh, cut Doff free uh, and move the body of Ek. Uh, they too are stunned at the sight that they are taking in. Uh, start with Dave. Dave, what do you want to do? I'm going to grab that owlbear skin and go over and talk to uh, Gizba. Fair enough. Rock here. I'll go with Dave as well, except I'll move very quickly over to Gizba. Gizba, 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 don't worry, I'm here. 
<laughs> Do you want to swing by your house and get some chapsticks? <laughs> right. As Gizmar rears back, oh, I wish they had killed me. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> Maybe I just need blood. <laughs> Couldn't bleed out any faster. <laughs> Zari, the- your par- your family's coming over. What do you want to do? Where's Aletha? Good enough. And Ingve. Uh Since the bodies are off uh, my back, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop the wild shape and sure. Ingve again. What do you want to do? Uh, uh, I look at uh, the carnage that's around and those that are uh, there uh, within uh, a range. Let's see. I'm going to try to offer some assistance. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to summit, uh, summon a spirit totem. Okay. And it's going to be the totem of the unicorn. And as long as it persists, uh, they're just uh, for a minute, it's just going to be generating two hit points, like per round or something like that. Um, the bear unicorn. For Y E R. Uh, for <laughs> the Anison unicorn for there we go <laughs> there we go the Excedrin uh, uh, the radius the radius that emanates uh, from the totem is sixty feet so okay. so for a sixty foot radius people will will uh, start to heal for two hit points per round fair. per minute so, fair enough David Rakir you go over Rakir is pushing the elderly out of his way trying to get to Gizba. <laughs> <laughs> doing a hip Get check a from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, you guys run up to Gizba, who uh, is hurt. Looks like he's been stabbed, uh, has a big knot on his forehead. Uh, he's a little bit out of it. What do you want to say? Oh, Rakir's you're faster you're, than I am, but he's muted. Like, you're muted. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, don't worry, I'm here. What do you need? What can we do? What can I do for you? Is the city safe? What city? And see, since you were muted, that's pretty much how he looked at it. Just, <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, is I'm going to walk up and hand Rakir the owlbear skin and go like, find out what this is. I'll go check. And then I'll take off to check and see if there's anything going on combat-wise around Ba. Fair enough. So you throw the bloody pelt onto the wounded old man. Got it. No, no, I throw the bloody pelt onto Rakir. He's trying to ass yeah. kiss the wounded old man. Ah, ah. <laughs> I put the Albert thing on to say, what? Fair enough. Uh, oh, no, I, 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 I try to answer this right now. I'm being, a bit, I'm being a slightly facetious. Yes, the, 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 the city is still here. There's lots of people hurt. Are you okay? I believe I will be okay. Right now I am in a lot of pain. Where did you get the owlbear skin? You know what this is? I have faced off with it before. We found it in the fields. We were out hunting the Arkarakara something (laughs) and we ran into one of them before and there was another group. There was Doff and Lokai and, and Ek, and, and apparently Doff fell down and <laughs> hurt himself, and that allowed the owlbear to mortally wound everyone else. Ek was killed. Lokai had her arm ripped off, and, and we found Doff cowering like a little child, and we slew the owlbear. And Doff almost slew the owlbear single-handedly and then we came back as fast as we could after healing everyone of course uh no no you no you did not encounter this in the hills that's it, no we, we did we're not lying everyone will say the same thing e- everyone will attest to this we were at the we were at the hills hunting those little uh, akari feathers whatever the hell those things are those little those little fucked up turkeys and on the way back, this is what we saw. You, you, you see the skin right here. We haven't been going anywhere else. This is what we found. 
uh, he comments that this is bad, very bad. Azari, uh, you give me a perception check. Matt, 20 again for 27. Your dad's bleeding. Okay. It, it appears as though he has been stabbed in the abdomen. <sighs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, but he's holding on with his uh, brave face. Son, it is good to see you, which is immediately a red flag. Uh, are you okay? Where's Aletha? Where's my sister? Wine merchants from last night attacked us when we were drugged from their, uh, when, the, when the townspeople were drugged from the celebration. Aletha heard a disturbance and she has been taken by one of them. I attempted to intervene and I was seriously injured. Your mother and older sister had to take care of me and drag me from the fray. Uh, otherwise, we may all have been captured, but right now your twin sister has been kidnapped along with uh, a lot of other people uh, from Ba. But at least he can do this. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two arms. He's got two arms. Oh, uh, Woo! I'm okay. <laughs> is is he near the radius? Or no? Okay. I assume you're setting it up in the center of the plaza. Yeah. All right. And I step away from my family and I walk over. Uh, Good story, Dad. I'll be back. <laughs> I don't, I'm more, uh, I, I'm more, um, I'm like, I'm very frustrated right now. There's so many things that haven't been said, uh, something that hasn't been told. So I don't, I, trust my father to a point but at the same time i can't speak to him in a clear concise manner that's befitting my father so i'm walking away and i uh i just walk away it's like i'll find her and i just continue to walk uh i go out into the past plaza and start searching for the wine merchants sure. uh Inge, as you erect your totem and start to help people you also hear stories that the wine merchants were not who they said they were. Uh, at, but you learn that one of them has been captured. Oh. And um, do I determine where he's being held? I mean, do, do we have a brig or? Do you, well, uh, Ba is a peaceful city. So there is no brig, no jail, uh, no gulag. Uh, there is a fortified area where weapons are kept by the hunters. Uh, would you like to ask somebody if that's where they are at? Yes. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll ask another. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, Dave, uh, where are you going? High or low? Uh, your second one, Ingve, is a five. They don't know either. They don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to look for, for Azari, Rakir, and them and tell them what I've learned. Gotcha. I would split out and start checking with people along my way to heading out to the edges of Ba, looking to make sure there's nobody still fighting, et cetera, et cetera. You will also find out that the wine merchants were bastardos uh, and the wine was drugged. Uh, those warriors that are injured uh, notice that you seem to be in good spirits and judging from the copious amount of uh, libation you consume. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. the, brothers, <laughs> the brothers of Kappa Nu make you their president. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Drugs are good. <laughs> Dave's constitution is pretty drugs damn good. good. Yeah. <laughs> 19, Dave likes drugs. Off, He's been uh, conditioned. <laughs> uh, Dave, give me two investigation checks, one for the east and one for the west. Oh, uh, shut up. I look to the east with a 17, and I look to the west with a 13. You do not see any signs of it. However, uh, when you look east, of course or when you look west, of course, uh, the sun is directly into your eyes, and that is the direction that you came from. East, uh, 
waving undulating planes uh, do not offer a view. Everybody no, roll a D20. No, no wine merchants carts out there, huh? Correct. <laughs> well, they left. Uh, short, the attack happened shortly after you got, or after Doff and Lokai left. So they've got a good eight hour start. D20 straight up. Zoop up. 10. 11. 11. 18. 18. Ingve? Uh, seven. Uh, Azari, as you start to look around for these wine merchants, you are told uh, there has been one that is captured. With an eight, they don't know where they're at. Uh, and they... Uh, I'll ask them before they do anything else. Who would know? That information's good enough. Uh, as Ingve comes running up to you, uh, the citizen tells you guys, uh, we think some of the hunters have them uh, near the armory. And I confirm this, of what I've been told. Um, Both of you are in close proximity to Rock here, uh, not next to him, but close enough. Dave is off uh, being Cap and News president and uh, Rush chairman. Day, I'm glad to meet you. I say perhaps I can help expedite our search a little bit, and I kind of bow, do a do a little prayer, and my raven familiar appears, and from it, another, and another, as flock of familiars mm -hmm. is cast. So I have three additional ravens, sure. and just scatter them out. Seagulls. <laughs> Seagulls. Um, yeah. Uh, it exactly. would be a, you have a murder of ravens that are <laughs> exactly oh, 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 a murder oh, of ravens. A rook nice. of ravens, my friend, it would be a oh. murder of crows. Murder of crows. Yeah, of yeah ravens. it's a rook of ravens. So, <laughs> uh, Dave, good news. Uh, you have spotted uh, your cousin's oh, husband. I'm... Or, I'm sorry, no, Ingve, yeah. uh, my bad. Ingve, your, your flock of ravens uh, with weird hair has spotted your. Uh, aunt or it's your cousin's husband okay uh so uh, i He's see in the this. pile of dead uh okay um ravens notice such things yeah well I, he, he's got that bullshit sight that he can kind of see through their eyes so he's yeah. looking, he's looking at the zoom image of azari raven one I, i'm <laughs> just kind of and then there's a fuzzy raven three because it's not in the wi-fi zone i'm tell us brand how many eyes do the ravens have <laughs> exactly uh i'm like you know the eyes are white and i'm just staring out like that and i mean you could probably see me shake a little bit as i see that sight so and uh, i just continue looking Fair enough. Rakir, uh, Gizba points out that, of course, the wine merchants were not who they said they were. Uh, he has been told in his haze that uh, the wine was apparently uh, laden Drugs with toxin. Uh, he's not sure. He needs to find Lokai, uh, and a defense of the city needs to be mounted. Where can I find Lokai? I will inform um, Gizba. Lokai is practically mortally wounded. One of her arms has almost been ripped off by this, by this terrible creature. It, it, it's she will probably not be able to serve as as her as a leader. I would I would suggest that you may ask Azari to mount the defense or Dave to mount the defense because he has already gone out to search and to set up a perimeter lurking. I will not hear of it. I trust Lokai with my life. Even with one arm, she is better than most warriors with two. Go, get her, bring her to me right now. As you command. As you wish. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, uh, Azari uh, and Ingve, you see Dave, or mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you see Rakir moving away. Okay. Go ahead, Rakir. I interrupted. No, no, I, I'll go get Lokai. I'll go try to find Lokai. And as she goes over there, I'm, I'll just kind of whisper in her ear, I know about you and Dolph, little hussy. 
thousand yard break stare. his nose break his nose no. uh azari and ingve you see rakir go over and talk to loki you also notice that doff is tending to his brother and is about as quiet as doff gets uh, the ravens can search for an hour mm-hmm. so and where what are you searching for uh, just any sign uh, all four directions of the wine merchants uh azari's sister <coughs> anybody sure uh, they've had an eight hour lead so you're long gone. On that one. okay um so. but you do find dave uh and his friends dave uh kappa 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 <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, uh, Lokai, Rakir, thank you. <laughs> uh, and she heads that way slowly. You can tell that this has been a devastating effect on her, and she goes over to Gizba and begins to talk to him. Did you want to go with her and listen in, or did you want to say anything to Doff? who is just destroyed. Oh, I got something to say to Doth. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll, I'll remind him that his brother's dead because of him. <laughs> I didn't say it was a nice person. I, I never said say. it was a nice person. <laughs> He, he I got a bag of salt for you. Here you yeah. go. <laughs> he, he looks Let me at go you, get my lemons real quick. S- slings his brother over and just walks towards the outskirts. Yeah, that's right, you little bitch. <laughs> uh, Don't say anything else. <laughs> Uh, Dave, from your lofty perch, uh, you can see pretty much the damage rain down. Uh, One thing you don't notice, your uh, cousin doesn't appear to be among the group. I can't tell if he's frozen or... Okay, there <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's, he's in thought. <laughs> Head back towards Plaza. Deep in thought. Deep okay. in thought. Yeah, your cousin... I need to go talk to somebody with a brain. Yeah, your cousin is Uma, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, Uma has been kidnapped. Geb is dead. Uh, mm. No, I'm sorry, Ingve. Who who is Geb? Geb's my uh, cousin or my mother's cousin's husband. Yeah, my step cousin. Your, bro- your uncle. brother, your brother's cousin's my uncle. cousin uncle. Cousin's He's my cousin uncle. uncle. My cousin. Okay. Okay. Right He's after, because right. my mother's sister cousin was living there in Ba when we was kicked out of the other place. <laughs> it's my well, sister they, wife. Well, their their tra- <laughs> their trailer was hit by the tornado. Uh, so Y'all didn't want me to play Dave Arkansas. What? <laughs> so, so Dave, your cousin Uma has been kidnapped. Geb is dead. Ingve, uh, shit, I gotta take care of the cows. <laughs> Ingve, yeah. your dad has been captured. Your mother is murdered. Oh, shit. Uh, Azari, your twin sister Aletha has been captured, and your dad is hurt. Uh, good news, Rakir, you're a fucking orphan, so safe! <laughs> In this case, I'm pretty sure that they will be able to hear me as I yell to my brothers that we hunt. Fair enough. Uh, I, look. I must I must go to my father, you know, to, yeah, I need to handle that. Three, Azari, Lokai approaches. Nice. Um, Rakir, are you with Azari at this point in time, or are you still telling uh, Doff he's a bitch and keep walking? No, I, I'm. I'm not with. I'm not with Azari. Uh, I'm. I'm being my own little petulant little bitch self right now. Uh, <laughs> give and- me a. Give me a perception check and Dave perception check. 
No, yeah, that was a that yeah, that was a five. Yeah. I'm nice. So you're doing I'm, the oh! <laughs> basically, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I'm all about rubbing rubbing rubbing. Oh, 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 no, that's right, Dolph. <laughs> take it, take it a feather going. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, all that, right. Yeah. I'm I'm rubbing it in right now, being a little being Fair a bit enough. of an asshole. Uh, Dave, uh, what was your perception? My perception roll was a nine, and I'm pretty uh, focused on trying to get back to where Ingve and his are so that I can talk to somebody that's got a brain. You are just pulling sheets off trying to find your loved ones. Azari and Ingve, uh, Lokai approaches you, arms still bandaged up. Uh, we have a problem. I'll add it to the list. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no, no more bitching about my NPC. Nice. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'll just and give. I just, I, I just make a beeline to my father. It's just I, like <laughs> I look at a, I look at Lokai like, what the fuck else is new? She explains that Gizva has requested that she go ahead and be in charge of securing the city. She asks you if you and your associates can form a scouting party to go after these alleged wine merchants. Done. Okay. Uh, she also mentions, apparently we have captured one of them. He's in the law. He's in the armory. Yes. Correct. Being guarded by some of my, my lieutenant who was also injured in the fray. I uh, think that would be a Zari's lieutenant now. That's just. Me. I understand. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Lefty. <laughs> Sorry. I, I uh, walk away from. Uh, I'll walk away from Loki. Uh, and just thought it Man, understood. you're just a prick tonight. <laughs> I, I was like, I will get my. So anyway, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my. I'll, I'll just let her know. I will get the group together. Warriors, we'll come out to play. Um, and I, I, I think you should take Doff as well. Doff is. Oh. I don't know if Doff is in the mental state. His brother was just killed. That's why you should take him. He's going to be angry. But is he going and to he is useful? he is an he is an accomplished warrior, as you well know. He's a bit of an asshole, but he's an accomplished warrior. <laughs> <laughs> then I would recommend that you would. <laughs> then my recommendation would be, before leaving, if you would find him and tell him to find me quickly. As he would probably not take well to my presence. Done. Uh, did you want to interview the prisoner? I will, yes. Well, assemble your team, SEAL Team 4, uh, and go ahead and uh, report to the armory. Tell the lieutenant I sent you. There you will do it. I don't know that you'll be setting out tonight. Uh, it's going to get dark and you may get lost. Long rest. It would be best to leave in the morning. Uh, I don't like waiting. So along <laughs> with your PTSD, Ingve has PTSD. Dave is looking for somebody with a brain and he can't find the Emerald City. And Rakir is... <clears throat> wouldn't go PTSD. I'm feeling more like... Uh, I'm starting to feel more like Liam Neeson's... Uh, Liam Neeson and Taken. <laughs> right now, Azari's got a particular set yeah. of skills. Okay. <laughs> you can give her back, and we can um, all walk away from this. Otherwise, yeah. I will find you, and so I will what? kill you. And you will so, give him to Dave. Ingve, uh, what you want to do with your family? Oh, I'm sorry. With what remains of your family? <laughs> it's just my oh. mother and my father. My mother has been taken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, oh, whoa, 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 no, Ingve. Uh, I have here dad caught, mother murdered. 
which is it? Everything's kind of. Uh, Dave. Mm-hmm. Dave. Dave. Dave's cousin Uma, who raised him, has been kidnapped. Geb, her husband, is dead. Geb Dave dead. slash Ingve, your mother has been murdered and your dad has been captured. Dad, kind of like Klinger. Okay, so half the that family dead, that, 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 other that makes half it, kidnapped. <laughs> that makes it even worse. So, yeah, I'm. Everybody rage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, Azari, I'm... roll a d six. One. Okay, you will find Dave first. Okay, Ingve, what you want to do? Uh, I'm taking care of my dad. Dead. You know, so I'm taking care of my mother, uh, her body, shrouding it. Uh, we'll try to get her in the ground before we go. So, so. You mean into the lake? You you fuckers just attach uh, cheesecloth to him and throw everybody in the lake. Oh, I see that. Viking esque, you know? Yeah. Viking ask, but you know, by this time the lake's going to be filled with floaters. So. Well, well, depending <laughs> on our dad, I mean, <laughs> good crab in that lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, catfish. Man. So traditionally, oh, how do we handle like, our dad? Yeah. I mean, do we do like a wrap him in cheesecloth and throw him in the lake? I've, I've never been one for our traditions. <laughs> you, you guys are going to have to get a barge. We must go for the living. Elon, take care of the dead. <clears throat> right, right. So I'm just going to cast Mold Earth and just make a grave for my mother. Lay your body in it. Cover it back up. Uh, make She's a been swallowed! <laughs> and and I mean, just praise and uh, <clears throat> buds actually start forming over the graves and flowers. And yeah, you know, I get up. As the Raven Zoom hands. meeting focuses in on Dave, a haunting tune can be heard. <laughs> <laughs> As a uh, matter of fact, the Ravens have come. <laughs> so, <laughs> ooh, food. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Eyeball soon. is good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your mother is buried in the plaza. Dave. Kappa Kappa News president. Kappa New, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the jar harp going. <laughs> Azari! Azari! <laughs> Geb is dead. They took Uma. Who will watch Geb's cows? Someone else will have to watch them. We aren't. We do Azar- hunt. Azari, walk away from them like you've done everybody else. <laughs> we do hunt. Find Rakir <coughs> and meet me back in the plaza. Done. Go Rakir! And get Yingbe. The sanctity of the dead is interrupted by the constant yeah. screeching. <laughs> Smooth skins are so disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll make my way to find uh, Ingve. Okay. Uh, he's sitting in a flower patch for some reason, which seems to be unusual. Rakir, give me a perception check. <laughs> Muted, <Ooh>. bud. <laughs> that would sound good. Just how low a perception have, sorry, you have to roll to your day. I'm so happy. I just remembered I had this stuff. I Did that wine have a screw top? Screw top. <laughs> this isn't wine. This is um, a fernet. Ah, oh, okay. Gotcha. It, it, it's 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 a it's a stinky wine. Ah, gotcha. I'm like Dave. I have no idea what that is. Give me, <laughs> give me a perception check to see if you can hear the bellowing president of Kappa New. Uh, I I I rolled a twenty one on my perception check. Oh, uh, you can hear him. He's yelling for you. <laughs> I'll I'll go over to, uh, to Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Facial Lafleur. <laughs> uh, I will I will, uh, I will respond appropriately to the uh, calls. Hey Dave, 
who's the orphan now, bitch? <laughs> wow. I'm, everyone else. I'm, 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 I'm real, real nice to everyone in my life. That's right. Everybody made fun of me as an orphan. You guys could all fucking suck it now. <laughs> suck it, dude. Uh, Rock here. Uh, Dave seems to be aggravated. You know what else? <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go over to Dave though. Yes, if they're calling. Absolutely. Rock here. Yeah. Geb is yes, dead. Dave. Geb is dead. Uma has been taken. I have to find someone to watch Geb's cows because we have to hunt. <laughs> Azari said, "Come with me." And then I will grab him and start dragging him with me to where I last saw Azari headed. Hey, everybody. Who has two living parents? Oh, too soon. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> Maybe. He'll probably die from that gut wound at some point, I'm guessing. Jesus, Ingve, you look like somebody died. <laughs> wow. uh, Dave, you can... You pretty much get a handle on where Azari is, and you can see Ingve praying over the, I don't know, pink petaled <laughs> flowers that have grown up over his mother's corpse. Yeah. Well, if Ingve's praying, I'll, I'll like totally respect that, but I'm going to drag Rakir right <laughs> over to it. I'm going to drag Rakir right over to Azari. Azari, I have Rakir. I can hear them coming up, so I finished. You can hear not here, Dave. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as that, that's I, Dave's quiet voice from the from from my mother's grave. Your mother music. can hear Dave. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Just like tell him to shut up. Uh, Dave, so, no need priest. Talk to God direct. <laughs> The Dave, Dave, scatter, Dave, Dave respects I'm, your uh, parade, I'll but steps directly that, on her grave. Yeah. <laughs> <it's just> like, <laughs> okay, Zara, you got all four of them, or all yeah. three of them. We've been asked by Lokai to hunt down these wine merchants, find who they've taken. Yes. Well, I know they took my sister, and they they've taken. My- I took my father. Yeah, my auntie. They took your father. Cousin. They auntie. took your sister. Rock here. They take any of your family? <laughs> no, they they no. took my no. They no. took my sister. No, they didn't. No. They took my twin. <laughs> mm. We're going to leave first in the morning. We're oh, going you to... look like you have bad news. <laughs> we have to take Dolph with us. What? That was not my call. And who gave oh, this I think directive? that's a great idea. Loki. Okay. It's, oh. it's a wonderful idea. We'll take him. Rock here, good idea. No, usually such good idea. I mean, I'll take care of him. Don't worry. We may need him. So, bait. <laughs> you see, Azari kind of. Yeah, this is possible, but uh, we'll need to we need to speak with the one they captured. Uh, I'll help talk to him. Good idea, sorry. Agreed. Good idea. Yeah. Dave, I'll let you speak good with him. Answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Show me talk question. with him. <laughs> talk first. <laughs> Dave, go speak with <sighs> Dave, Ingve, and Rakir. Go speak with him. Start the conversation. Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> yeah. I'll meet you there in just a moment. I have, I have to, to find, find a comes phone in and book. Just opens his mouth really big. <laughs> I need to find a bucket <laughs> and a towel. Yes. <laughs> no, We're I'm going to torture is our special <laughs> theory. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to towel. Uh, <laughs> you can, I have lots of, you of go things speak in with this them. sack. <laughs> all of you go speak with them. I need to say. I need to talk with my father shortly. My first question is, how many teeth do you have right now? <laughs> first question. Okay, are you going to tell them where they're at, though? They're in the uh, they're in the armory, guarded by the tents. Okay. Okay, Dave, Rakir, Ingve, you know where that is? You want to head over there right now? Tell uh, them, is nowhere to be seen. Tell them uh, Lokai sent you. Okay. Oh, I will. <laughs> My lover, Loka. <laughs> My town whore. John Lovitz. <laughs> okay, you three uh, get to the armory. 
Uh, there are two. <laughs> there are two <laughs> wounded hunters that you recognize from your rite of passage outside. They bar the door. What do you want? We were sent to talk to him. By whom? Lo um, Lokai, the one arm. Uh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> low lefty cat. Uh, they, sorry, they I want to complain sorry. about wine quality. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get sick at all. You goddamn constitution rolls off the chart. Uh, they move to the side, open up the door. Inside is an individual roped down to a crude chair, and across the way is the lieutenant uh just sitting there there is a gag in the individual's mouth uh and he looks at you and he goes what are you guys doing here <clears throat> i'm going to ask questions great <laughs> I, I say, say, thank you very much loci asked us to come and right. we've been selected to form a party to go find out what happened and specifically to track down these people no, actually, I'm not going to say that. No, no, no I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. Well, I'm just while Rucker is talking, no, no. yeah, I'm going to walk over and pick and up the prisoner questions. and say to him, "Do you want to live?" He's tied to the chair. I will uh, pick him and the chair up. Strength check. <laughs> Okie doke. <He's> failed. <laughs> uh, that's actually a 17 plus four is 21. Okay. Uh, you lift the chair, Rock here. Uh, your statement. You want to live? Answer questions. And, and then I'll I, just I, drop the chair. I, I'm, I'm going to tell it. Lokai asked us to come and question the prisoner. And, and that's all I say. Everything else, no, that was that was twisted up in my head. I was going to do something that that would have been stupid. He's, uh, he's going to leave and go get a drink. Ingve, what do you want to do? Um, how long has it been through for the Day. I mean, um, it's, it's dinner time. Okay. Probably a little after that because you guys were milling about, you were gathering information. So it's starting to get dark. How long would it take me to change out a spell? Druids can change their spell book. One rest. A couple hours, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So who wants to interrogate? I'm sorry, interview. <laughs> we have a new opening on our team that's going to take over we for do. Dolph when we kill him so do you want to go <laughs> how you would like to be scout <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see this guy yeah he respects Dave he respects Rock here he's uh, neutral to Ingbe with a 10 so, okay. uh, bound and gagged. Um, I tell Dave to remove the, the gag. Okay. And he's going <laughs> to, he's going to catch a, a scent that smells <laughs> like flowers. And I'm just kind of being given a flourish to it. And he's going to have to do a wisdom save. 17 plus zero. Okay, so he resists it. Okay. So I was attempting to charm. Oh, so. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, Dave, uh, how do you want to take that gag up? As forcefully as possible. Nice. Well, fair enough. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll, I'll just like lift the chair back up and then grab a hold of the gag and yank it apart, throwing the chair back on the floor with him in it. Give me a strength check. Sure. Um, 18 with modification. Yeah, you ripped the uh, gag out of his mouth. Uh, Azari, were you going to talk to your dad first or find yes, his butler yeah. first? Uh, no, I, I can was, do this was, all day. <laughs> I, was just finding a, I was just finding my dad first. Uh, okay, let's move over to you. You find your old man. Uh, thanks for coming back. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I look at him and go, I hand him the beak of the owlbear. That's you almost thought. as good as having your sister with us. Thank you. I, I'm telling. <laughs> uh, thanks, Dick. Um, 
I look at my father and I just tell him, I was like, <laughs> I look at him and I'll say, we'll find her. Worry not. I promise she will be found. I have faith in you, my son. Okay, this that's, will make a, an, this will that's make really scary. <laughs> that's really scary. That's not like my father to say anything positive is really. <laughs> I look at him as like, I, oh, I, and I just the blood loss. Yeah, I'll look at him as like, are you dying? Not this day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is really weird. I walk away uh, and then I walk away and I'll go to the armory. Okay, uh, so Dave's ripped out the uh, gag rock here. Ingve, you guys are standing there. Ingve, uh, you have plugged in a Lysol scent for some reason. Into the I tried. Uh, so, uh, I tried to be good cop, but so it didn't work. all three of you are squared <laughs> off with this guy. He he appears to be dressed as a merchant. You guys did not uh, take the bait on who brought the wine or why they brought it. So you have. No idea other than outsiders brought it. Uh, and he still thing. has his clothes on. Yeah. We're we're no yeah, naked. Strip all of his clothes off. So first oh, yeah. thing I do, he is kind I, of is, is I start is, is I start taking off his clothes. Let's whoa, take his clothes whoa, off. whoa 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 whoa! <laughs> start taking off all of his clothes. <laughs> Azari, I, you are going to walk into this. I know. That's so, see what he does next. <laughs> 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 all okay. of his clothes yeah so so a, so so it's a small dagger and you know all of his wine marching clothes just take it he, he's still keep them taped up and everything else like that right so just cutting along the sides and pulling everything and to take off all of his clothes <laughs> everything right sure. but freaking naked you know sure. absolutely into his absolute birthday suit do the EMT he is, he is trauma shears. Off. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is not off. <laughs> okay. And, and uh, um, these, uh, just ask a very simple question. You're obviously not a wine merchant. Who, who, who are you? Why have you come here? And where have you taken our people? The man who just stripped me naked is asking me questions. Give me a persuasion roll. You want me to drop him again? Uh, that's a 17. I am Tobish Naren, and I am a wine merchant. And I don't swing that way, but thank you. I appreciate the opinion. <laughs> Azari, you walk in, and Rakir is hovering over a naked dude. You want me to hit him? <clears throat> uh, so far, he's matter of fact. I'm, yeah. I'm going to get my quarter staff and start polishing the end of it. <laughs> so you're going to polish the your stick. <laughs> after after stri- the stripping this man. guy's naked, you're going to go stroke your... your That's we're going right. to polish the knob of his staff. <laughs> Wine merchants, you say. When a man polishes the knob of his staff. Wine merchant. Okay. Wine merchant. And, and I'm just going to keep saying wine merchant. As, so the, uh, as the I start. lieutenant walks in behind Azari whoop, and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Still tied to the chair. Still naked. Still naked. Still watching you polish your staff. I'll walk up to him. I'll walk up to him just calmly and just ask, do you know where they were taking them? Persuade me. Let me have him. Let me have him. Persuasion. Nine. Where are you from? Um. He is clearly never seen Olianus. Got it. Um. Mm. I. Pop my claws on my. Yeah, sorry, you want to pop my claws on one hand, and I walk up, and I will put my hand up, and I will ask him again, "Where did they take them?" 
or you will be castrated. And I'll chime in as I'm stroking it, or worse, or worse. <laughs> <laughs> and they says, if, if I were you, my friend, I'd start answering our questions. So no more questions with the questions. You he will doesn't talk answer now. questions. Dave going to get mad. Persuasion by Ingve. All right. Uh, let's see. Not with that. Uh, five plus two, seven. So. And Dave, give me an intimidation. Well, straight. That's a nineteen. And yeah, that's fair. That's a 19. <clears throat> so uh, this guy, Tobish, if that is his, indeed his real name, looks at Azari. 18, actually, sorry. And says, look, I don't know what you are, okay? I'm not really sure what you want. And out of this entire group, only that guy with the staff looks vaguely familiar. So I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. I brought in some wine from the East. And the next thing I know, I'm getting the shit beat out of me by these guys. And you guys come in and you're playing uh, good guardsmen, bad guardsmen. And uh, I, don't, I don't know what you want. I say, fuck this. I wild shape into a panther and I go Turner and Hooch right around the neck. Pounce while so he's tied. I, I got one here, one here, one here, mm -hmm. and Dave. I'm gonna, can I make an insight check and see it, if he's telling the truth? I'm just slowly or? squeezing. Okay. I don't, like, he could be, he could honestly be a genuine wine merchant and then he didn't know about the other guys, but. In which case, he has no no use for us whatsoever. We should just slit his throat and be done with it. That's what a twenty lying and start breaking bones. Yeah, uh, there's he's... something he's not telling you, Zari. <laughs> um, I will. I'll lovingly reach down and grab the top of his head while Zari talks. They they all send, So I'll pull back my claws since this is fairly pointless. Since everybody else has got a <laughs> got an. Got an option onto it. It's like I'm just going to make sure he see he looks you in the eye while you're talking to him. I will. Uh, oh yeah, I'll try and use that too. Um, I will tell him. You should tell us which way they're going and where they plan on ending. That way, you can at least live one more day. Trying to get the name of the town. Okay. <laughs> He's milling it over with a panther at his throat. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> I ease up enough so he can vocalize. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you get this guy's teeth off me? Once your question, once my question has been answered. <sighs> I am a wine merchant from the city of Maita. Dave, give me an Arcana check. Uh, that's a 16 minus one 15. Uh, that sounds familiar to you, not to anyone else. Um, I come from the east. My village was raided like yours. These people, uh, uh, the Grubeck people, attacked my village and caught me as I was coming in. I am a simple wine merchant. They've taken my family as well. They enlisted my service to drag my, my cart filled with casks here. I was told if I didn't help them, they would kill my family and I outright. I don't have a choice. I did what so, they said. So. Your people captured me. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry. They would have killed me and my family. I'm in the same boat as you are. All right. Release them. 
Give him back his clothes, or at least a blanket. No, you cut him off. <laughs> you cut him off. <laughs> Those fine merchant clothes. Gone. Gone. <laughs> Um, I've got an extra set of traveler's clothes in my sack. Oh my God, I just want to disembowel this little motherfucker. Um, I will. Uh, I'm gonna. I tell everyone. Look, that that tail uh, is just swishing back and forth. It's just like mm. we're done for now. I just pretty you much wear these choice. leather pants. I don't have a any. choice. I did not have a choice. They would have killed my family. Instead, they have been taken into bondage. To Instead, they're going to kill your family and other people's families. You have a hey, choice. Hey, not if we kill them. He, he looks at uh, Rock here and he goes, have you traveled east before? You look familiar. I'm sure I don't know you, and I'm sure you don't know me. And I'll, I'll give him a good crack Cross the head with my uh, with my quarter staff. He's a he, he's a merchant, so unless you roll a one, you're knocking him out. East. <laughs> I, I I I didn't Dave, roll a remember one. <laughs> did or did not. No, I rolled a thirteen. Okay, yeah, he's unconscious, naked. After I, you hit him across the face with your staff, your polished staff. I I really I release him and then I spray him and then just kind of walk away like a little litter box. My NPCs are no longer the biggest dicks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm giving him a set of traveler's clothes. Uh, course, the, they the now lieutenant. smell like panther piss, but yeah. the lieutenant comes in and says, uh, "Look, I wants to talk to you guys." I'll. Uh... I'll throw my cloak over the guy, like to at least give him some dignity, even though he's unconscious. And well, he's got the panther piss traveling clothes. <laughs> yes, yeah. I, I'll still throw my cloak over him, just uh, enough dignity. Yeah. yeah, the clothes were just thrown on him too, not put yeah. on his body. <laughs> uh, and then we'll walk up and see what the hell Lokai wants. This is how Ingve is dealing with his rage right now. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, I'll drop the panther form and. Fall on out to go talk to Lokai and Damn. Dave always wanted to know if he could crush a head. <laughs> Lokai. You're, you're about to find out. <laughs> Lokai, Dolph, Don't worry, and Dave. Gizma. I, I, I think that's a good idea. You probably need to go in there and just maybe see if you can do it. But maybe you no. Know, I'm gonna yeah. be nice. So nice. Giz no. Lokai, Dolph, and Gizma are all over where Gizba was when Dave and Rakir found him. Um, they seem to be discussing something. Doff will sit sullenly, just thousand miles stare. Just he's he's out of it. There's there's a problem there. Uh, Gizba welcomes you. He's gotten some healing libations. Uh, walked over by the totem, got a couple hit points that way. Lokai's arm is clearly fucked up. And by the time you guys get there, she will be explaining her position on the defense of Ba, including uh, gates, some fencing, uh, the potential for another attack. She has been briefed by her people that survive, as well as Gizba. So she is in full defense mode right now. Uh, Gizba will point out, that he has asked, uh, or that Lokai will tell Gizba that she has asked Azari and his crew uh, to begin preparations to hunt down these wine merchants. Uh, Doff never looks up from his feet, uh, clearly out of it. Uh, Gizba will ask Dave, Rakir, Azari, and Ingve. Uh, Thank you for volunteering for this mission. We hope that you can find all of You're our welcome. loved ones. <laughs> you got a you got a lot right here. <laughs> um, what can we do for you, if anything? Who are the Grubeck? <sighs> the Grubeck are a nomadic people to the north. Uh, they are considered barbarians, uh, more so than Dave. <laughs> uh, he will explain to you that in his travels, and you guys have heard the stories that he's traveled throughout the land, uh, that the Grubeck were a nasty kind of people. Uh, he will point out that 
Somebody roll a d12 against me. 11. 11 beats a five. He will point out that uh, he has heard rumor that the Grubeck uh, have left their nomadic ways and have become civilized but are slavers. That makes sense. They had just come from the east in Maita and taken the, they had already ransacked that town and they've come to us using the wine merchants as their cover. And now no, they're- There's no wine merchants in Maita. They're fishermen. Got it. Well, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna head. Dave's back gonna walk to, back to the hut. <laughs> I'm gonna go back with Dave to the hut. Okay. Um, Strength so, check. Azari, please. Uh, um, if you need us, there may be a few more questions that we have for for the for the wine merchant. Just real question: the wine merchant fisherman. I'm sure you understand what Dave. A couple of more questions. We have for this guy, maybe? At least one, one more two? question. At least one more? Yeah. Azari, is that okay? You, Are you cool? I'm not cool? even listening to you. I figured you've already gone and done your thing. I'm not <laughs> even. <laughs> I'm I, have, I have Azari yeah. and Ingve with Loki, <clears throat> Loki and Gizba. I have Dave and Rakir headed for the armory. So yeah. Azari right. and Ingve will stick with you for right now. Uh, what other information do you want from Gizba or Lokai? Do you happen to know where they're, where possibly a, a nearby settlement they may go to? Um, that would be the direction that they had left. I was where? told that they left by the east along the lakeside. Maita is at the delta crossing to the east, uh, past the tar pits. Where would they most likely sell their slaves? Mm, good question. Off character, good question. Seriously. Good question. Uh, Gizba rolls a nine. He would not know. Uh, maybe they keep them. <clears throat> Maybe they sell them. Uh, I am not a slaver, nor do I care about them. So I would not know. He, he would not know that one. Good question. I agree, but he does not know. So mm -hmm. the nearest would be Maita to the east. Would mm -hmm. be our nearest town. And if the guy was even half right, he came from that way. Yeah. Which way did the wine merchants come from? I did not see which way they came in from. I know that, or I've been told, they left via the east towards Maida along the lakeside. And apparently there are tracks out there somewhere. Do we have any equipment here that would be best suited for our team's particular talents? The city of or the community of Ba will outfit you completely but i think i think you. you should get a rest and head off at first light agreed it will give him time to get over his grieving as well as all of you i understand each of you have suffered a loss Elon separate care <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Nope, I'm fine. <laughs> nope, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. go get a sandwich and eat a burger. <laughs> we got any uh, of that wine left over? <laughs> uh, we flip over to the armory. Rock here and Dave, there are no guards outside the armory. And we, we go in and try to find that prior previous, uh, the prisoner is... Tibish or Tibbet or whatever the hell his name is. Is he around? Uh, Tobish Naren? Yeah, he, Tobish. He, he's around. He's dead. The lieutenant and the two guards are standing over him. The lieutenant has been injured and holds a strange dagger. Uh, what kind of dagger? 
it is uh, I have a picture, but I can't show it to you. Uh, it is I a, come from the east. Give me an arcana check. Uh, that's a 16. Holy hey. cow, this dies on fire. You don't know what it is. Uh, the blade itself is about four inches long, and it's made of steel. Uh, you guys do not have steel weapons at this time. Uh, it has a wooden handle lashed together with some kind of uh, plant. So life. shiny star metal. Mm -hmm. No, it's <laughs> blackened, actually. Uh, the mm. point uh, is four inch. Like I said, the blade itself is about four inches long. The sides have been sharpened, so they're smooth. The middle triangle, the blood gutter area, is uh, made of hammered metal. You guys will not recognize steel at this point. No, in time. Uh, it's and, weird looking. Yeah, and at the base of the handle is a kind of circle, almost an ampersand. Uh, nobody recognizes this. Uh, the lieutenant points out that uh, after his clothes were stripped off uh, and he came to, he asked to put the piss-stained clothes on. When he was released from the bonds, uh, he pulled this dagger and stabbed the lieutenant a fight ensued. The two guards came in and the three of them kicked the shit out of him. I swear to God, that is what happened. Damn. Can I roll an insight check to see if he's if there's anything going else going on there? Sure. So the prisoner pulled the dagger? Mm -hmm. From Nobody, where? where? From where? Prison wall? Mm. I mean. Poop dagger. <laughs> <laughs> the poop dagger. Apparently, whoever shook him down did not find it hidden in his uh, doublet. We'll we'll need to talk to that Kim was, uh, that was <laughs> about law enforcement. <laughs> no, it seems as though uh, it's accurate. You do notice that the bonds that once held him uh, appear to be untied. Uh, they were not cut open. Uh, and you see a maybe a torn piece of cloth in the doublet that you had so meticulously carved off. Uh, so he had it hidden in his chest. Uh, they they will hmm. point out that this is the only weapon found on him. Um, but yeah, they had no idea. They, they did a shitty job of searching him and a shittier job of handling him. Uh, but Tobin Naren is dead. Uh, the lieutenant will hang dead on too soon. Odd even. Even uh, Rakir, he hands you the blade and says, I don't know what to do with it. I'll thank him for the blade. Take it. And um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give it to Dave. Say Dave. Yeah. Whoever, uh, Whoever took your uh, whoever took your family member. I'm, what's the what's the one? What's your uh, what's your uh, cousin Uma, Uma has been kidnapped. Uma whoever took kidnapped. your whoever took your cousin Uma, you will you will slash their throat with this. I'm gonna smell and taste that, and then I, I I'll hand him the dagger. I, I'm not a I'm I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. <laughs> yeah, ask Doff. <laughs> <laughs> ask ask uh, Tobin Naren. I'm a lover. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to hit him with it. I don't know what y'all are saying. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, now you have a little bit of a mystery here. Uh, yes. Mystery dagger. Yeah, dagger. Yeah, it's not magic. It's on the dagger or anything like that. Mm -hmm. There's that. Oh, don't circle. worry. I'll show it to you when I get there. <laughs> yeah, there's, um, there's a circle thing. At the I'll, I'll ask Azari for the dagger and tell him to give me a few hours to ponder on it. Azari doesn't oh, have it. You, you, you and Azari oh. aren't even there. Oh, we're not there yet. Yeah, yeah. No. Sorry. Yeah. You guys, I'm you thinking are, ahead. <laughs> yeah, you guys are talking to uh, Gizbod Lokai. Uh, I, I, I will ask. Um, I will ask the, um, you know, the lieutenant. I'm going to ask him one more question. How did you capture him? How was he captured? That, that's that's one of the questions. That did, did that, that that that's one little bit I wanted to know. How uh, was he D captured? D12 against me. 
11 is good enough. He was captured hovering over the body of four. Ingve's mom. I'm not there, so I don't know this. Nope. Yep. yep. Dave's not there either. Dave's already on his way back. <laughs> I don't wait around for Rock here. Yeah, Kappa New. <laughs> Screw <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if there's any more of that wine left. Yeah. So uh, I'll, here I'll, apparently I'll, I'll, I'll go to the I'll go to Lieutenant. Just to keep a good little familiar kind of hat in the back. Text. Thanks. Thanks. Let me know that. That's, you can tell he, that's, he's that's important. He, yeah, you can tell he got sliced and diced. So he was caught off guard. Yeah. But they uh they carved uh Taryn or Tobish up pretty bad. Yeah, okay. I, I'll 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 ask them to bury this man uh facing down. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they don't him. have to bury him, like just maybe a you know, just make sure he's facing down. The crows will eat tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, with that, everybody should probably get a good night's sleep. Uh, the mystery has deepened enough, I think. Uh, everybody but Rakir has lost somebody uh, because Rakir is unlovable, clearly. Uh, <laughs> he's just a pole stroking cocksucker, apparently. Well, <laughs> well Kai lost an arm. I'm a Rakir nice must guy. I'm a serious, I'm a really, really nice guy. Yeah, uh, that's uh, been displayed. Uh, you guys have formed a pact. Unfortunately, you'll have Doff tagging along, who is sullen and clearly a changed individual. Uh, we'll go final thoughts. Uh, we'll start where we ended. So, uh, David, uh, final thoughts. Yeah, Jesse, guess who got the short end of the stick on this one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, I should have been there and be like, don't fuck with my family, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am, just like all carefree. And, and, yeah. and, and honestly, when I determined who would be captured, who would be killed, clearly Scott was out of the running because he's an orphan. Uh, right. The dice giveth, the dice taken away. So yeah, They took away <laughs> yeah. from Ingve. Uh Yeah, it was good. It was a good episode. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, really Pussy? good. Uh, no, it's great. I'm, uh, I, I, oh, I just had like, I, I just felt like I was like, that just came out a little too easy. And I knew we, I, I just felt like we missed something right then before. And then when you told, then when we went in and we're like, oh, Mida. And they're like, oh, that's a fishing town. I was like, motherfucker, I knew it. I knew it. I now yeah. wanted my deception. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> of course he did. Sure, yeah, like, I got two tonight. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was, uh, no, that was good. Scott, what'd you think? This is so much fun, I don't know what the fuck to do. (laughs) 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 No, it's 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 seriously it's it's great to play with uh with uh people that 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 are that are invested in their characters. It's it it's just it's just a lot of fun. And and I I have a really clear understanding of who Rakir is. And after after three you know. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't feel so bad about pissing on him. So. Yeah, it's kind of major no, Frank it, Burns. It, it, it's it, it's just it, it, it's great to be able to get into a campaign and be able to see who your character needs to be. It's just who you thought, and then what the interactions are, and then yeah, I know, and yeah. and it's great to get at that point that, that's I, so I, early I, in the campaign. Yeah, I've tried to make enough areas where you guys can let your characters grow and become right. whatever you want them to be. I'm not going to push you in any direction. So I, I'm glad you guys you just gave us page. a big kick out the door. It's just a like, poof. Here you go. Right. You could have decided that you hated your mom. <laughs> um, you, you saw my backstory. You know, yes. you know, um, yeah. I, you know, I abused all of your backstories. So uh, Rob, what'd you think? Oh, great. Absolutely. Great. We got to go east. I might run into my grandfather. This is probably all his fault anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I thought you would appreciate the lead in on your backstory for that. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you would not have known that Mida was only a fishing village. Oh. And by the way, the look on everybody's face when I said that, suck it, bastard. <laughs> <laughs>
you <laughs> can't <laughs> <Deceiver. laughs> Deceiver. Um, <laughs> folks, we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Calamity Campaign Episode 3. Tune in in two weeks uh, when we go ahead and continue this disaster next week. Woo! On Saturday is a one shot. So if you're interested, hit us up. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. Uh, most importantly, mhobo inc gmail or twitter if you want to be on the tuesday talk show or on saturday one shot thank you pirate dog dice especially for the uh nat 20 <laughs> that was a bonus for me ah. and of course if your game stinks unlike ours uh odd fish games has adventure sense that'll make your game smell a whole lot better and if you want to write better than me try their shine system because it helps you and walks you through the stages folks for all of us here at murder hobo week join us tomorrow for the frank campaign slash uh tri generational campaign generations uh, Let's wave and say goodbye. So, yeah. uh, Davis Bye. left the building. <laughs> Bye. Dave is gone for something else. He's gone. <laughs>